welcome back. So we're going back to Cora's Den again. This time we've got Rex with us and we've got Garrus. And also, yeah, kind of knows we're coming. <laughs> I just thought I'd start the fight a little early. what because we've probably leveled up yes we have so intimidate can i push them any further maybe it purely is a renegade point thing and so we could regenerate more health by doing that i want to keep going with assault rifles but i do want to check put heavy armor well, in that case Want heavy armor more than anything else. Oh, we actually can't do this yet. Why not? No idea. Okay, well. Fitness. That's just health. First aid. I don't know. Um, anyway, we'll just stick that in assault rifles for now. Garrus, I forgot your... You know, let's specialize you in what you're good at. Sniper rifle. Sniper rifles there. Okay. Also decryption, actually. Make sure you're really good at that. Oh, whoops. Squad. Almost forgot about good old Erdnot Rex. Let's yeah again specialize in what he's best at. Krogan Battlemaster. LA deck. Warp. Combat armor, assault rifles. Honestly, he's a shotgun guy, isn't he? Should work towards that then. Ah, cool. Fair enough. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Now I can do them. You're making a mistake. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. It would have been quicker to just kill them. <laughs> Shooting people isn't always the answer. Sometimes intimidation is. I guess that's where you were going with that, right? Pistol, sniper rifle, sniper. Unfortunately, the sniper rifles could be good, so I'm bringing them. Actually, 100% got to shoot at I surrender. Not Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know <laughs> where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face. That. Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. 
Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. Everybody does, actually. I told actually. her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. I don't Tell me where that meeting is before you I put blow the Tali girl in danger. You die. Here on the wards, the back alley by the market. Although she's supposed Shepard to be right technically not in love with her yet. He is, because we all are. Tali is the best. I mean, I was gonna tell Rex he could what do that doing? anyway, but whatever. Shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. He A lot of people it. died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. Ooh. We have to save that quarian. Storage disk. I'll take that. Quickly decrypt these walls, safe. Dampener armor. Oh, oh. Probably want that too. And lost in three. I wonder if you just lose the game if you don't rescue. I've never actually been slow enough to not get to it. Does the game just like end? I guess it must, because if you don't get that information, you're sort of screwed. What was going on there with his shadow or something on the wall, but... he would melee when I'm up close, but uh, That's it. Bag him he tap. didn't. That's okay. Rush towards this quarian, who is up here, right? Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No oh, way. So creepy. The deal's off. And she's supposed to be like, I think 16 or something. Like she's meant to be really young. Not, not quite a child, but she's not really an adult yet at this point. Couldn't trust him. Don't, Don't worry about him. Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank what you. What happened to our hair there? We went oh, saying for a moment. I don't have life. time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you, but not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Like a plan. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on <laughs> Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A quarian? <laughs> what are you up to, Shepard? I mean, look at everyone with me. You could ask that about any one of them. Garrus is the only one you could sort of make sense of, but I've got a random bounty hunter and a quarian with me. This quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Where's the proof you promised? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. <laughs> what did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. 
That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren, don't him. get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. Really. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Don't tell they them. won't believe you anyway. the help. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian. What about her? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Join us. I'll take all the help I can get. Because it's Tali, and of course she's Thanks. joining us. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. No problem. We'll bring Tali, and we'll bring Rex. Oh yeah, Bean is on. Forgot for a moment exactly where we were. Also, I need to go talk to Zelton. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good I can time. help you, though. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, <laughs> anyone can discover my secret. You'll have to deal Just with that. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Goodbye. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. <laughs> Approving. You see, Dan, not all humans are as you Enjoy say. Enjoy improved humanity's reputation. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. <laughs> also, and that keeper. I think there's like 30 of them or something. We've already found a fair few. I'm not going to go search the whole Citadel for more. I could, but... I feel like we've already spent a while here. Let's try and get off this place today. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. Shepard. My name is Samesh Bhatia. Samesh Bhatia. the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What is A it? lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. That's good. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'll find we'll look out. into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Expensive Thank you for bar. Time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. Okay. Expensive bar over here. Have we been in here at all? Bunch of diplomats and stuff working. Memory, none of them have much really to say. 
Ah, uh, executive power, man. I don't think he has much to tell, so he doesn't really like humans much. Robert Fredericks. What do you want? Oh, <laughs> Is there something I can do for you? Consort? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with <laughs> things. <laughs> You've never been, have you, boy? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge. Yeah. Anyway, we already knew that. That's cool. Oh no. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay. Look, boss. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You've got the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. Ah, uh, she was a husk. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nerali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Ah. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Who did you renegade to say I'm releasing the body? Yeah, I'm gonna you do know that. what I am. If I want Nerali Bacha, I can get her. It is so hard to not take her any at all. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Uh, even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd yeah, be briefed on Yeah, I think I would. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. <clears throat> you win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Excellent. I have a real personal hatred of bureaucracy. Though it's always fun to beat the shit out of it, whether it's real or not. Alright, Mr. Samesh. Your daughter's body's on the way back. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. But it may bring me. Ah, and we also leveled up. What? Talent points. We can do one more into intimidate. Combat armor. You may now equip heavy armor. Shielding. And then that's it. Rex. Shotguns. Go for your shotgun packs. Tali, we haven't done anything with Tali yet. Jesus. Um. Use electronic skill on easy objects. Description. Right, so I don't want her to have both of these maxed out because I know what I'm going to be using her for, for the most part. Dampening. Hacking. Oh. Um. Overload. Vehicle repair. Can use electronics on hard objects. Alright, so yeah, keep working towards that. Can't quite get it yet. Okay, that's fine. Do decryption. Then I'm hacking. Use decryption on hard. Basically, I want this and I want that, and then I don't really care about the rest too much. Just because I want her to be able to make sure that I can hack into everything I need to hack into. She'll be with me on pretty much every mission. 
because I goddamn love traveling with Tali. Um, now, unfit, so we gotta go to the Citadel Council, that's right. Citium. The, uh, actually, first off, let's go to the consort, I nearly forgot. And the keeper here. I'm just going to go straight in and see her. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear I've already completed what she wanted. I can just hear my dog slobbering up water in the other room non-stop. He's being a big thirsty Commander, boy. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Let's talk I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. Excellent. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What is it? What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep, pain and loss, <laughs> but it drives you, makes you strong. It does for you some never people. hide your strength either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. Pretty much. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future ah. greatness. That's like Remember you could still go Paragon if you try. Defender. No. Uh, Ugh. thanks. I guess. I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Ah. Then we get a little more. <laughs> I actually forgot that you could sleep with her too. At least I think that's what you do. Seems that way. Yeah, that's definitely. Haha. Because that's what that orb is for. That makes sense. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Thank you. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. I don't remember and now this I must at all. Ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. What? Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. What did she give me? Equipment. Healing packs? Yeah, that's what she gave me. What? Journal? The consort. Wait. Um. Codex? Might have to look into it later. Uh, I don't actually know what she gave me, but I hope it was something that'll actually be useful. Cool. Alright, well, we're done with that. That's the only other, like, thing that we had going on the Citadel. So we're pretty much clear to go. Last travel point just out here, right? To the tower. at the Citadel Tower. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer beacon. to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. No, the she must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. 
I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth I believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do Admit, I do like the idea is? of them having a synthetic race. Classical religious evil cult. Having it be machines instead of some kind of organic alien is actually kind of interesting. Saren thinks I think it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the I mean, Reapers go? We all know go? in the second and third game they, they expand the gap a bit to be more than just this, and this existence. is more an offshoot of them. Real, we'd have found something. You know, it's still interesting. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. And I can take me. Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human <laughs> who exposed him. I've earned this. I've earned this. Of the other two are just like, come on, man, he's right. You know it. Commander Shepard, step forward. That's in the big moment when we get declared a Spectre. Gives us full authority to act on behalf of the Council and go hunt him down. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Lead the you where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Excellent. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, mm -hmm. supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Oh. Spectre inductee. Another achievement. Nice. Huh. Bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Ah. Spectre bonus points. Did it just level me up too? No, it didn't. Thought it did. Ah, right. Wait, now 
items to stores. 5% more credit. I didn't realize when you were intimidating, you get that. That's cool. Then we'll also go charm further when we can, because that'll help us, you know, do what we need to do. And inspect the train. Do we need this? So it increases maximum health. So power and attacks overall. Because it's unity. Advanced unity. I mean, it's not bad. Still think I'd like to finish combat armor and assault rifles, but but I will do those two. So that'll be four points in. The game. All right. Anyway, what I'm going to do for now is uh, I'm actually going to run around a bit off camera, and I'm going to try and get four of these um keepers and see where I can find them because I don't want to spend another half hour episode looking for them, and that's all I've really got left. So. I'm going to go do it off cam and I'll be back when it's time to leave the Citadel. Bye for now.